All right, let's, so let's do a recap of what we've done so far. We've brought power in through our main disconnect to our three main fuses. We've ran power over to our three outlets along with our neutral wire and our ground wire. And we've also landed our neutral wire and our ground wire to our terminal strip. Now we need to start wiring from our fuses. And so from fuse six, we have a 10 amp fuse. It's going to go out to our control panel, to our switch for our computer and our switch for our coolant. We're also going to come out and go over to a set of contacts on C1 to power our tri-power power supply and also to a set of contacts on C1 to power our transformer for our stepper drivers. All right, so let's get started with that. Now this is wire number 120. So I'm just gonna quickly label this here. So we've got it labeled 120. Just gonna temporarily secure that. And this wire has got to go all the way out our panel. Just gonna loosely lay this in here. To make sure that we get enough to go out of our panel. Then we'll label that again, 120 on that end. That's going to be our supply going out to our switch for our outlets. Then we need a wire from our fuse to C1 contactor to go to our tri-power power supply. So here is our C1 contactor. So what I have here is a cube relay. And this is going to be used for our control circuit. I think I may have mislabeled these two contactors, C2 and C1, in a previous video when I was going over the components. But the small cube relay will be for our control circuit, and this will turn on our power supplies. This is an Omron cube relay. So the part number for this particular relay is LY2AC110-120. And this is just a 110 volt cube relay. And what we have Here's the other side. Uh, it's rated for half horsepower, uh, 12 amp, which is plenty for what we're using. But inside the relay, what we have is a coil, which is these two contacts here, uh, 13 and 14. And then we have a set of normally closed contacts which are these two outside contacts and these two contacts here are actually our power in so from here to here is the switch and that is closed right now and from here to here is the switch and those are closed right now once power is applied to the coil it switches and these are our contacts these are our normally open contacts and power is, and this between here and here is a switch, and here and here is a switch with power applied. So we will be using these two center contacts for our two C1 contacts to turn on our tri power power supply and our 48 volt power supply. Uh, the normally closed contacts we will not be using at this time. Here is a diagram and you can see our pin 13 and 14 for our coil, pins 12 and 9 for our power to supply our contacts, and then the other side of our normally open contacts are pins 8 and 5. 
and our normally closed contacts are pins 1 and 4 which we're not using. Now your base may be different so verify it but usually they're all pretty much the same. So right now I'm concerned with 9 and 12 which are our two power right here and that's where we're going to be connecting and here is 12 and here is 9 okay so I'm going to ruin a wire from here over to here okay then I made up another little jumper it's going to go from here to here so we have our power running from our fuse over to pin 9 and pin 12 which is power feeding our contacts and we can plug in our relay check that with a meter for continuity we should have continuity between our fuse and our contacts and the back two pin 5 and 8 are normally open so we shouldn't have power there I mean continuity there but 1 and 4 we should have continuity so we're good so now we have power going out to our outlets and we have power going to our contacts on C1 wire 120 next we need to go from the other side of C1 the normally open contacts to our transformer so we'll do that now so previously we wired our transformer power connections okay so we've got our power wire coming from our transformer going over to pin 5 on our contact C1 Okay, and this is wire number 160. So let me mark it. We ran a power wire from fuse 6 to C1 contactor on pin 9, and from the other side of the set of contacts on C1 at pin 5 to our transformer. We have power coming in the bottom on pin 9 and power coming out the top on pin 5. And now we need to run our neutral from the other side of the transformer, wire number 100. And this will tie back into our neutral side. Or if you can see here, here's our neutral from our transformer. And this is wire 100. Okay, 100, and then this will go to our terminal strip. We have our neutral side coming in the top. This is going out to our receptacle, and we're just going to slide this in at the bottom here. Lock that in. And there is our neutral. So that takes care of our neutral on our transformer. Next we need through our C1 contacts at PN8 we need to bring power over to our tri power power supply. Okay next we've got power ran to PN12 already on our C1 contacts and now we're going to run power from pin 8 
to our 5, 12, and 24 volt power supply on terminal L. And I've just went and labeled all these terminals so I can see them. They're actually labeled on the other side. But this is just so that I can see them. I've just got a black wire that I've tinned the ends of here. This is stranded. You can use solid core. PL. And we're going over to pin 8. Okay, we've got our wire ran to pin 8 on our C1 contactor. We also need to connect our neutral. Alright, so now that we have our 110 volts supplied to our tri power power supply, we now need to supply our neutral. And that is wire 100. This will go down to our terminal strip. PN 100. Okay. Tuck all that in. Now they're going to, I'm going to put some jumpers right here to tie all these together because these are all the same wire. I've got some jumpers on order and I just didn't have them yet so when I get them I'll put those in. And we also brought our neutral to this pin here. Wire 100. Well, we also have a ground connection on our tri-power power supply. So I want to go ahead and connect it up to our ground terminal. Okay. okay, so now we have our neutral connected, our power connected, and our ground connected to our tri power power supply. So that takes care of our power and our neutral for our tri power power supply from contactor C1, which is our control relay, which is our ice cube relay down here. And then we also supply power to our 48 volt transformer through this set of contacts, nine and five, and we've got that wired up. So that takes care of our fuse FU6. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel Thumbs up if you liked the video, and most importantly, be safe.